Tatum's is a big reason the Celtics have become so tough to score on. Jason Tatum says Rob can guard anybody. You always know you got protection behind you if you get beat. He has the potential to win Defensive Player of the Year one of these days. I think that's in his future. So the Time Lord is biding his time, Kevin. <laughs> David, thanks. And now the opening lineup for Boston. Out on the wings, it's Brown and Tatum. Griffin is out there with Horford, and it's Smart in at the one spot. And for Los Angeles, the wing pairing, George and Leonard. Ivica Zubac is out there with Robert Covington, and it's Wall in at the point guard. And one thing that stands out about this Celtics unit, their defensive abilities. They've got a lot of skill on that end of the floor. Here we go. It'll be the Celtics off the tip. Now here's Smart. Up top, Tatum. He's covered by Leonard. Leonard with the steal. To the inside. Here's Wall. Here's George. No good on that one. Griffin with some nice D. You're right. Defense, it's been terrific for him. This Boston team, GA, certainly has a talent for holding back their opponent's shots and really defending well. And Kevin, they put a lot of energy into pressuring shooters, making sure guys can't find easy looks. They don't want to give away anything for free. Ball's shot is good. And a strong guard. Wall takes the hit and still can convert. About a minute played so far here in the first. Tatum passes to Horford. At the elbow, Griffin. Five on the clock. Back to Tatum. For three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It goes on Jason Tatum. Yeah, with Kawhi, it's, it's not about really so much improvement as it is refining his game. And he's now hitting around 90% of his free throws. That's just remarkable stuff. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. Amazing the way Kawhi Leonard has evolved throughout his career. Well, in the early part of his career playing in San Antonio, defense was his calling card. And you could even argue that his offense has gotten better than his defense, which is simply remarkable. One of the top all-around players in the NBA. All three throws good from Kawhi Leonard. And with the 15th pick in the 2011 draft, Kawhi Leonard wasn't highly touted coming out of high school or college. Uh, listen, even in the pros, recognition took a while. Uh, how about this? He won finals MVP and defensive player of the year before he ever made an all-star team. Now, one of the 75 greatest. Here's Griffin. A shot's good on the assist by Horford. That's another area that Griffin has worked on, just taking the pass and creating rhythm with the shot. D can't stop it. Here's Leonard. Here's Zubats, and he converts the layup. Second chances are a great measure of what a team is doing in terms of their effort on a nightly basis, and that was some serious effort there. And finished off by Horford. All right, Al Horford getting up there for the gym. You forget how big he is. Clippers have gone two for four from the field so far today. Outside wall. Here's Leonard, and it's good, two points. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. Hate him against Leonard. Knocked loose. 
Brown outside. He kicks to Tatum. Six to shoot. Horford with a screen on Leonard. Here's Tatum. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. I like when Tatum goes inside. He's using that height and touch to perfection from the interior. Smart against Wall. On the rebound goes to Griffin. Well, nobody getting a hand in his face in that painted area. That's a miss he's going to be disappointed with. Here's Smart. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. And here's George for three. Drops in the tray. That's something I think Paul George in the offseason is really working on. Just pulling up off the dribble. Maintaining great balance. Very few flaws in his offensive game. Now here's Smart. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Horford with a screen on wall. Here's Smart. He feeds it to Horford. And the shot is good. Weight room paying off. Absorb the contact and finding a way to get it done there. And Wall kicks to Zubats. It's George on the wing. Screen by Zubats. And it's George missing. The Celtics have gone 4 of 7 from the field shooting over 50%. Smart deciding where to go with it. Tatum drives in. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. And he creates such a great opportunity right at the rim and he just can't get it to go. Even with the defense not really a factor. Now here's Leonard. Left side wall. Here's Zubats. And good coming off the assist by Wall. And how about the read from John Wall? He, he knows the angles, sees the opportunity, and makes the right feed. Celtics trail by four. Outside, Horford. Top of the key, Griffin. All with it. Pass to George. Covington, a screen on Tatum. Sure. Here's the three, and Robert Covington gets the three. Well, if you look up three and D in the dictionary, you might see a photo of Robert Covington. He's bringing that spacing to his offense. Here's Brown, still looking for his first bucket in this one. Outside Tatum. Shoots the three. Count it. His second make in four attempts. Nice answer back there. Love to see the competitiveness. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. And here's Leonard. After Jason Tatum getting his shot to go from deep. And the foul on Marcus Smart. That's his first foul. Outside wall. And that one good. And I just love the way Wall kind of nice through that defense. He is masterful at slashing to the rim. Now here's Smart. And here's Brown outside. It's hauled in by Zubats. Wall looking it over. Leonard against Tatum. Let's it go from 11 again, Los Angeles. Kawhi Leonard keeping the game very simple and just taking what the defense is gifting him. Come on, come on. Tatum down low. Zubats defending. Count that bucket. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. Brent, looking back, the Clippers have really put things together over the last decade. They have injuries have been a factor the past couple seasons, so uh, they haven't competed at the level certainly that their owner wants to, but they're trying to keep this core group of guys together. And uh, if they do that and they get health, there's a lot of talent there and a lot of guys who've done it on the biggest of stages.
And the Clippers making a change here. Kennard's checked in. Zubats finds Covington. From deep, George. Boston grabs the miss. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Covington with the steal. Kennard with the ball. Now guarded by Tatum. Kennard the pass to Wall. The three from George. That's good. And so Wall with the assist. Wall's got three assists in the game. And a closer look here at the hustle stance for the Clippers. I mean, they've come out aggressive defensively, getting into them and, and coming up with some cookies along the way. Well, they've really attacked off of the turnovers, so leaking out and capitalizing on fast break stuff. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. Reggie Jackson's checked in for the Clippers. And then for Boston. Williams, he's checked in for Horford. Derek White comes in for Griffin. And Brogdon subbed in for Marcus Smart. Tipped away. Brown the pass to Brogdon. Dishes to Tatum. And another miss by Boston. Los Angeles leading by nine. And George kicks to Jackson. The pass to Zubats. Now here's Kennard. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Tatum passes to Brogdon. Back to Tatum. From outside, off the mark. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. You know, you appreciate Zubats's focus on close-range looks as a big man. Well, Zubats, one of those big centers that's burly and tough and rugged on the inside and while other bigs are searching that three point line out Zubac looking to get deep into the paint and look at his shooting percentages over the past couple seasons up around 60 percent that's good shot selection and great consistency Kennard with the ball Williams picks him up and the shot goes down Zubac has got six points and passes like that demonstrate just how much Kennard is a team-oriented player. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for Boston. Trailing here by eight. Offline with his three. Los Angeles has gone three of five from three-point land so far in the ballgame. The shot by George, no good. The Celtics have gone seven of 15 from the field to this point. Rodden scanning the floor. Outside Tatum. Tatum with another miss. Los Angeles leading by eight. 
George dishes to Jackson. Outside for George. That's good, and it's Jackson with the assist that time. He's got nine. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. We know who that was. And here's Tatum for three. Count it, number five from the floor this game. He's now five of 11. Well, the size that Brogdon has at the point guard, a good job of finding somebody over the top. Los Angeles has gone four of seven from three-point range so far in the first. Jackson from long range. And it's White with the rebound. Celtics trail by eight. Passes to Tatum. Here's Brogdon. Williams has a screen for Brogdon. The kick out to Williams. And the three off target. I'm not sure how he finds himself in so much space there. He's kicking himself for whiffing a bit on that one. Jackson passes to Zubats. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Excellent all-around performance so far, hence the big lead. Well, if I was baking up a lead, I'd add two ingredients. One would be playing smart, the other one playing selfless. They've done that tonight. Serve it up. Nicholas Batum, he's checked in for Robert Covington. And the Celtics also making a change. Al Horford is checked in for Tatum. And the free throw, no good. Well, after their offense stalled in the finals, the Celtics getting some veteran help. Gallinari and Brogdon both bring shooting, and Brogdon's another playmaker on the floor. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now, here's George. He's got nine. Good for another basket for him. Number four today, he's four of eight. Yeah, not letting anybody keep him from that spot. Paul George, a nice, strong play that time. Brogdon the pass to Brock. And a great assist by Brogdon as that one goes in. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Now here is George. 11 points in the game. It's off target. He's four of nine from the field. Jackson against Brown. Pass to White. A three. And the Celtics hit again from deep. Beautiful job closing the gap here. Let's see if they can sustain this run. Well, they've shown both effort and will to get back into this one. But can they finish this one off? Can't let up now. And it's George again missing. And here is Brown. Ball's knocked loose. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. deep and the last second attempt doesn't fall Paul George he's been the guy making things happen for the Clippers he witnessed him delivering a series of three pointers as he notched three total in the quarter don't go anywhere we'll be right back Getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Clippers. Guys? Hey, why take jump shots when you can get your points at the rim? Yeah, that worked wonders for them in the quarter. We'll see what kind of adjustments get made.
And so it's Wall with it, bringing it up for the Clippers. And small and power forwards, Leonard and Batum. Wall and Powell are the guard set. And it's Brown in at the five. That's who's out there for the Clippers. Outside for Batum. A three-pointer off the mark. Celtics trail by three. Up top, Brogdon. He's covered by Brown. Here's Smart. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. The shot by Brogdon, no good. Well, maybe not the best shot against that kind of defense, but he still has the ability to knock that kind of shot down. Brown with a screen on Brogdon. Powell dishes to Brown. Back to Powell. Clock at four. Puts it up from 12. Al Horford with the rebound. Boston's gone outside a lot tonight. 17 times, in fact. Seven of 17. Wall against Smart. Horford sets a screen for Smart. Boston needs to get off a shot. Horford, no luck. Los Angeles leading by three to the paint. Here's Batum, and Batum throws it down. And a little slam dunk from Batum. That'll work. Second quarter, we're a little over a minute and a half in. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Now, smart. Here's Williams. Boston, no good that time either. Los Angeles has gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. And Batum kicks the wall. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And after not playing for a season, John Wall back in action. Bought out by the Rockets, and he signs with the Clippers. If he can get back to where he was, that's a huge win for the Clippers. Could serve as a deadly third option for Shoot L.A. Two. And that one falls for Wall. For the Clippers organization, G.A., what do you think the goal is? Well, it, it's clear to me, Kevin, get to the NBA Finals. The, the Clippers have never made it there. And I think a trip to the finals is within reach of this group. They just need to stay healthy. And so John Wall nails both of them. And with every season, Brent, it seems like the league gets more diverse and international. It certainly keeps the play interesting. Well, the, the skill set of the younger players that come into the league is absolutely scintillating. And those different styles, those different techniques, that's the great thing about basketball is that you can find something within each player that you'd like to steal or borrow but it's unique to them right now I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge thanks very much now Malcolm Brogdon said in pre-draft interviews teams would ask him you went to college for four years and got your masters in your fifth year are you sure you want to be an NBA player it seems as if you're black you can't be both educated and a sportsman but it's not disheartening it's a chance for me to break the mold. Kevin? Thanks, D.A. Batum finds Wall. Leonard with a screen on Smart. Back to Batum. Here's Leonard. And again, no good by the Clippers. Celtics trail by seven. Right side Horford from the arc. Buries it from three-point range. Horford's got seven points. Even when the defense contests Horford's jumper, he can still bury it. It's all about his rhythm. Los Angeles calls timeout.
Kennard, he's checked in for Leonard. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. That's tipped. Stolen by Smart. Pass to Hauser. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. Well, that just scrambled the defense all kinds of ways with that great initial pass. Batum sets a screen for Powell. Hits the three-point bomb. Powell's got himself on the board with three there. Norman Powell really knocking it down here and hurting this team from distance. For three, Brockton. And the basket is good. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. And Wall kicks to Brown. Poked away. Stolen by Smart. There's the triple. It's hauled in by Brown. Brown's got five rebounds tonight. Wall against Smart. Powell sets a screen for Wall. The pass to Powell. No good with the triple. Celtics trail by three. Here's Hauser. It's good. This game is all even. Hauser's got five points now in the quarter. L.A. has gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. Five of 12. Wall passes to Brock. Back to Wall. Now here's Powell. Batum is screen on Brogdon. Offensive rebound. Brown. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. And it's a completely new group for Los Angeles. Brogdon has got the ball here for the Celtics. Trailing by two. Outside Tatum. It's Brogdon on the wing. Guarded by Jackson. Takes the three. Cranes the three-pointer. Brogdon's got himself going with the triple. His first basket of the game. A good shooter from behind the arc. Selective when he does it. Love how Brogdon lets that one fly. Leonard with a screen on Brogdon. In the corner, George with it. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. 
Tatum passes to Brogdon. Back to Tatum. Kicks it to Williams. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Williams has got the lead up to four now for the Celtics. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. George against White. George passes to Jackson. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Man, you get so caught up in the bravado of someone scoring on you and you wanting to even the score. Unfortunately, he couldn't answer back. Now, here's Brogdon. Tatum kicks to Brogdon. Six on the shot clock. He takes it in. Count it. His second make in four attempts. What about Brogdon just adjusting there and then finishing with contact? Clippers trail by six. And here's George for three. Passes it to Leonard. Back to Zubox. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Zubox has got ten points. Not getting old here. Seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. Tatum dishes to White. There's the three. Tatum's shot is off. And for the Clippers, they're shooting just 29% in the second quarter. The offense is suffering. Here's Leonard. The rebound by Brogdon. Well, he's a guy they count on to produce from the mid-range. He doesn't miss too many open looks from there. Tatum looking around. Knocks it loose. Leonard with the steal. Inside. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It goes on Jason Tatum. That's a nice play, Reggie Jackson. Crafty at the offensive end. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Celtics. And guys, I love the movement. Doing Shoot a great three. job of just getting the ball on a string, creating some opportunities. It feels like the three-point line has opened up really early in this one, too. They've been looking confident from behind the arc, but there's a lot of attempts going up. And Greg, up and down this Celtics roster, so many of their key players were drafted by the Boston Celtics. And Tatum and Brown at the core, but also credit to their front office. Rare to find a powerhouse built from homegrown talent. Here's what Boston's going with right now. Al Horford checked in for Grant Williams. And Marcus Smart has subbed in for Brogdon. And since 1999, the Clippers and the Lakers have shared their downtown L.A. arena. The only NBA teams to split a venue. But that's going to change soon. Timeout called the Celtics.
Tatum passes to Smart. Here's Horford. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Smart's got three assists in the game. Pretty much an Al Horford staple right there. A polished player who has lots of confidence when he gets in that range. Now here's Jackson. Outside Leonard. Zubac a screen on Brown. Two open that time. Made it look too easy. Leonard's got eight. And it's smart with the ball for Boston. Outside Horford. Outside Tatum. Brown inside the line. And it's Boston with another. And that's just tremendous confidence from Brown. Going up with the shot right away and giving the D no time to react. Now here's Jackson. Over Smart. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. And the basket by Tatum. And every year, Tatum evolves. Tonight, he's given us a taste of everything he's been working on. Brown against Leonard. Covington wide open. He fires. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Austin leading by five. Outside, Smart. Pass to White. Outside, Horford. Outside, Smart. Off target with his three. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting pretty well at 46% from the floor. Covington a screen on Smart. There's Jackson with the three. The rebound by the Celtics. Brown feeling out a bit. From past the arc. And the rejection by Zubac. Got a piece of it. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. Smart anchor it passes Greg are really paying off for them at the moment. And also good off ball movement. Everyone is paying attention and looking to create the best shot for the team. Now here's Tatum. 16 points for him. Outside Leonard. There's 117 left in the first half of the game. Good. Leonard's got 10 points. Great dribble move there. Kawhi using refined ball handling skills to get wherever he needs to on the floor. Tatum against Covington. They get a hand on it. Covington with the steal. Jackson dishes to Leonard. That one goes. Count it. And now just a one-point Boston lead. Why Leonard's game is just so special. He's so talented at getting to his spots, doing it with patience and poise, and capitalizing. Now here's Tatum. Puts the move on. He takes it up and lays it in. Tatum's got five points now in the quarter. I mean, it's just fun to sit back and enjoy watching him operate. And that's what it looked like the D was doing as well. They're just sitting back and watching. Jackson with the bounce pass. Here's Leonard. And there's the block. Just stops it cold and takes possession. Here's Tatum. It's good. That's eight baskets for him now. Eight for 15 shooting. And how about the determination on Tatum's face? on that one there. The D had no chance. This kid is just too polished when he gets it down low. Outside, George. He kicks it to Jackson. From deep, three-point. He made it! He gets it to go! Wow! way to finish up the quarter. That's an incredible shot there. Just let it fly, take a chance, and somehow that one goes in. Thanks, guys. Here with Jason Tatum. 
you have been rolling early. How did you get in that rhythm? Uh, just staying aggressive. Uh, just continue to get in the gym and uh, see some go in. It, it was good to see him go in early. It felt good to have us have a good start. Uh, hopefully we keep it up. Yeah, it was flowing great in that first half, Jay. Thanks very much. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. Halfway through this one, plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. You know, guys, Jason Tatum has really been making it happen. Yeah, and through the first two quarters, he has been the offense for this team. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. On the court for the Celtics. Out on the wings, it's Brown and Tatum. Griffin is out there with Horford, and it's Smart in at the point guard position. Now here's Wall. Outside, George. Rocket six. Covington setting the pick for George. That misses at a chance to tie it there. And so Griffin will bring it up for Boston. A two-point game. And when you look at Paul George, I mean, he's been in the middle of a couple monster trades. Well, PG exchanged for two future All-Stars in Sabonis and Oladipo uh, going to Indy. And in that massive trade to L.A., the Thunder got SGA and a boatload of picks. It just shows you how much value Paul George has. And trust me, he's very much valued by the team he's on. Now, smart. Paul George missing from long range. Up top, Tatum, covered by Wall. Count it, and the foul. It's going to be on John Wall. Yeah, you got to really do a better job on Tatum once he gets on the way up. Excellent at fighting his way through the defense there and still able to convert. over a minute gone here in the second half. Leonard on the wing. The bucket is good. He'll have a chance for one more. It goes on Jason Tatum. Now that's the power and strength he brings. Kawhi able to absorb the contact. I'm not even sure he felt it and still knocks it down. He's gone two for two at the line so far. Free throw good from Kawhi Leonard. The Celtics with the lead. Tatum with it. He's got 23. Smart passes to Griffin. Some nice ball movement here by the Celtics. Knocked away. Leonard with the steal. Right side George. And it's George finishing it off. So impressive. The fortitude. The will to battle back, but it did take a lot of energy to get here. Well, they didn't really have a choice. I 
It's at the position that they were. They had to fight hard. They've gotten that. They've outworked the other team. Just fighting tonight. So it's Boston now after the basket by Los Angeles. Shot clock at six. Covington with the steal. Wall dishes to Covington. Shoots over Griffin. And the Clippers getting another bucket right there. Tough coverage defensively. And Covington, not a guy you expect to make that kind of play. Smart finds Brown. And it's Paul George with the foul. That's his first foul. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Brown the pass to Griffin. No good. They had a chance to end the run there. All the time in the world to get that one off. Brown against Leonard. Puts it up from 15. The shot, no good. Now Boston takes it the other way. Pass to Griffin. The kick out to Tatum. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Smart's got five assists in the game. And, guys, he's been a one-man air raid coming at them time and time again. Kind of like he's in his living room right now. He's found a comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. Took the opportunity when he saw it. Wall's got nine. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. For a guy who's still working on his range, love to see Smart attacking on the interior. George against Brown. Wall is screen on Brown. Feeds it to Wall. Lock at six. Poke loose. Wall against Smart. The kick out to Tatum. And the Celtics another three. A leap from deep. Tatum joined the league as a fantastic three-point shooter. Didn't have to add that to his game. Now here's Wall. He's got nine. And it's sent back by Horford. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Horford. And now let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. The three from George. And Tatum pulls it down. Tatum's got his fourth rebound in this one. He dishes it to Smart. Back to Tatum. With the drive. Horford the pass to Tatum. Down to five on the shot clock. Yep, that one goes in there. Tatum's got 11 points here in just the second half. And it's going to take more than that to stop Tatum. A wing who can score in so many different ways. Clippers trail by five. And here's George. He's got 16. And again, no good by the Clippers. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Stolen by Zubac. All against Smart. Will it go? And again, it's the Clippers missing. Celtics leading by five. Evan finds Smart. Ball's knocked loose. And now Wall running the floor all by himself. And the slam dunk by Wall. In the moment he's got the rock, Wall goes turbo. Gets up court as fast as anyone. And so it's smart. He'll bring up the ball for Boston. The pass to Horford. Outside Tatum. Misses the three. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. George passes to Leonard. And then Leonard with the dunk. 
And this is where PG at his height, because of his size, he's got that advantage to see over the defense and locate the open man. Ball against Smart. Passes it to Tatum. And here is Horford. Shoots over Zubac. And another miss by Boston. For Los Angeles, they've gone at a pretty good shooting pace. They're 6 of 13 from the field here in the third. Leonard against Tatum. Leonard, the pass to Zubac. And the dunk by Zubac. This uh, game has a lot of character here in the third period. Six changes of the lead here. Intensity is the theme for this one. Boston trailing. Time call here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. We have to like what we're seeing so far from Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, the defense has not provided any threat to stop him out there, so it should come to no surprise that he continues to attack the basket. Derek White checked in for Boston. Malcolm Brogdon comes in for Smart. Here's Brown. He's got five. White finds Brogdon. All with it. Brogdon picks him up. The three from George. And that comes off the assist by John Wall. George has got five points now in the quarter. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for Los Angeles. All game long, they've had active hands and, and really out in the passing lanes. And that aggression on defense has resulted in a ton of steals. Something else I've seen from them in this game is just how quick they are to capitalize on a turnover. I mean, they're pouncing on that stuff, and you got to be careful when you're handling the ball around them. And the Clippers call time here.
And the Clippers making a switch here. Jackson's checked in. And it's Jackson with the ball, bringing it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Here's White. Rebound by the Clippers. Leonard's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And Jalen Brown is such a force on the offensive end. Hard to keep that guy out of the paint. Terrific finisher at the rim. And whatever intensity was lacking there in the first half, you're seeing it on display here now. You asked for those hustle plays earlier in the game. We're seeing them now. Oh, what an impressive dribble drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. And that's the kind of bucket they needed. Close game in the second half. Great finish on that one. And maybe the only weakness for Brown is his handle on the ball. And it's something that he's worked on every offseason. Still, though, susceptible to turnovers while dribbling. That's one of the very few weaknesses in his game. Now Brogdon after the miss three from Reggie Jackson. Now Brogdon. He has five. And the basket by Tatum. And no doubt what's on Tatum's mind when that pass is coming to him. He's got a scores mentality. If it's a clean look, he's going to let it fly. Boston's got more than a 50% success rate on their three-pointer since halftime. They're 4 of 7. And the Celtics hit again from deep. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Yeah, pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. And here's Covington after Jason Tatum getting his shot to go from deep. Leonard, and he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. That's an athletic play coming from Kawhi, just pushing his way past the defender and getting to his shot. For Los Angeles, they have been good at the free throw line. This one, seven of eight. Here's what the Clippers are going with right now. Browns checked in for Zubox. Batum comes in for Robert Covington. And Norman Powell subbed in for Paul George. The Celtics also with a sub. Williams is checked in. For Boston, they've gone 8 of 13 on shot attempts to begin the second half. Here's Brogdon. Five points in the game. Outside Tatum. Off target from three-point range. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Batum scanning the floor. Jackson with the bounce pass. Six to shoot. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Yeah, you could be as physical as you want with Kawhi Leonard. He just stays with it and is unshaken. So far, he's hit all of his shots at the foul line, going four for four. Here's what the Clippers are going with right now. Zubats is checked in for Moses Brown. Robert Covington comes in for Nicholas Batum. And George is subbed in for Norman Powell. Celtics trail by three. Outside Tatum. Off target from outside. Clippers shooting an outstanding 55% from the field since the half. You know, their execution has been on point. Covington a screen on Brown. Here's Leonard driving inside. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. There's no way he even felt that contact. That's what makes Leonard so tough to defend on the dribble drive. Nice work at the line so far, going five for five. Kennard, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Here's 
Here's Brogdon. He has five. Outside Tatum to stop the run. No good. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. They've led by as many as 11 points. Brogdon against Jackson. Six on the shot clock. And here's Covington from the arc. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. Covington's got eight points. And right now, they're just focused on putting together good possessions. Yeah, that's exactly how they got the lead. They ended up having multiple possessions in a row with good quality shots, knocked them down, and the game is fully in their control. Boston again missing. And they just can't find a way to end this thing. Nothing falling right now. Frustration seems to be mounting here, and you can see not just in their faces, but right now in their quick and hurried shot selection. Coaching staff would like some more shots from that range. 106 left to play in the third. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. The three from Tatum. Kept alive by Boston. Good on that shot. And with that, the Los Angeles lead is cut to just nine on the basket from Williams. Well, he seems to be in the right place at the right time more often than anybody that's on the court here tonight. You see that pay off. Covington kicks to Leonard. Now, here's Kanon. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Just five to shoot. 11 feet away. Leonard, no luck. The shot and game clock separated by four. Right the pass to Brogdon. And Tatum puts up a deep three. It's hauled in by the Clippers. George has got six rebounds now in the game. Covington, a screen on Williams. The three from George. A shot, no good. The third quarter comes to a close. Clippers ahead. They're up by nine. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get started for the fourth quarter. And how about a look now at our assist of the game? Brought to you by State Farm. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle. But you can do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. And the Celtics with possession here. They trail by nine points. Wall and Powell are the guard set. And small and power forwards. Leonard and Batum. And it's Brown in at the five spot. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. Outside Leonard. Horford with the rebound. Celtics trail by nine. Outside Williams. And Moses Brown is going to pick up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Pass to Hauser. Knocked loose. And that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. Tipped away. Lock at six. Back to Williams. Over Brown. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Outside wall. About a minute played here in the fourth quarter. Leonard sets a screen for wall. From about 16. And it's Leonard missing. And so it's Brogdon with it. He brings it up for Boston. 
here in the fourth quarter. Their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. Clippers leading by nine. But two dishes the wall. Outside Leonard. From 11 feet away, here's Brown. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. When, when you're trying to claw your way back into a game, you cannot allow second chance opportunities. Yeah, those are tough. You get back into the game by working harder than the other team, not the other way around. They're just going to extend this lead. Brown no good on the free throw. Celtics trail by 11. Here's White. A three-pointer no good. Clippers have gone 104 since the end of the third quarter. Down low. And Wall kicks to Brown. And it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. Now that's two teammates who need to reintroduce themselves to one another not on the same page. The Celtics have gone 0 of 3 to start the fourth quarter. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Outside, White. Pass to Brogdon. Shoots from the elbow. And good! He nails it. A good job there. Brogdon doesn't need much room. Has it there from the mid-range and knocks it down. Leonard looking around. throw drops for Leonard and he makes both free throws and that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. White finds Brogdon. Now Williams. Brogdon with it. Horford with the screen on wall. Brogdon with it. And Batum picks him up defensively. Clippers leading by 11. A three ball. And that comes off the assist by John Wall. Wall's got six assists in the game. To the left wing, Leonard with the steal. Outside, Wall. Three-pointer. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. I mean, this team is just dangerous. Right now, every shot that they're putting up feels like it's going in. A shot by Batum, no good. Celtics trail by 17. Brogdon kicks to White. Brogdon against Powell. Looking to end the run. Uses both hands to slam it down. Brogdon's got a strong handle, not a quick dribbler or a shifty dribbler, but a strong handle and busts in there with a nice move. And the Clippers call time here. For Malcolm Brogdon, he comes from a family, Greg, where education comes first. And well, Malcolm earning his degree plus a master's while in college, his dad and brother lawyers, his mom involved in higher education, Brogdon may be the smartest guy in the NBA.
And now we present our New Balance player of the game, Kawhi Leonard. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. He sure has given this crowd a treat tonight. This kind of performance only cements his status as a fan favorite. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alder. Kevin, during the last break, I heard Tyron Lue talking with his team. He loves the aggressiveness on D. He said, we're doing a great job of challenging everything they're trying to do. Stay active, talk to each other, don't let up. Kevin? Thank you, David. Platoon passes to Wall. Tries the spin move. Brown, good. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now, just gift wrapping points. And there's the pass to Williams. Passes it to Hauser. Brogdon kicks to Williams. Shot clock at five. Shoots over Brown, and it's blocked by Brown. Outside Leonard. Pass to Wall. Back to Leonard. And good, coming off the assist by Wall. Wall's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. Celtics trail by 19. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. For three, Brockton. And it's out of bounds. Uh, they say it was last touch by Brown. Kennard, he's checked in for the Clippers. Boston making a switch here. On defense, the Clippers. 19-point lead, which is the largest margin in the game. Connects from three-point range. You got to try to scramble the Jets right here and get that guy off the sweet spot. That's one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Los Angeles has gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Pass to Kennard. And taken away by Brown. The dish to White. Brogdon outside. Outside Tatum. No good on the triple. And it's Wall with the ball for Los Angeles. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. Dishes it to George. And he's good on the three ball. George has got 10 points in just the second half. This is what you expect. Paul George can get it going from the perimeter like that. Again against Wall. Outside Tatum. And there's the foul. It's on Nicholas Batu. That is his first foul of the game. And Los Angeles will go for a different look here. Zubats is checked in for Moses Brown. Robert Covington comes in for Nicholas Batu. Leonard, he's checked in for Luke Kennard. And Reggie Jackson subbed in for John Wall. Then for the Celtics, El Horford's checked in for Williams. And Smart subbed in for Malcolm Brogdon. Los Angeles on D. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth quarter. George double teamed. Now the pass to Zubats. And here's Leonard. And it goes down two points. Leonard's got 35 in the game. Well, the mindset from Kawhi Leonard right there is just making him a monster. On the inside, goes at the defense, full head on. Tatum, no good. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Jackson kicks to Leonard. Zubats with the screen for Leonard. Zubats, that's good. 
I like to see Leonard's ability to dish the ball off the screen and roll. It's becoming a huge advantage for this team. Boston's getting some tough luck from three point range. In the fourth quarter, they've hit just one of six from deep. To end the run, Tatum drives in. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. Well, he's been carrying them all night on offense, but at some point, he's going to need some help. What's up? Tatum no good on the free throw. And you know, Jason Tatum is one of those guys who can really do it all. He's got a versatile skill set that makes him a constant threat on both ends of the floor. Now here's Leonard. Five to shoot. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Free throw good from Kawhi Leonard. And so it's Boston with it. Pass to Horford. Tatum against Covington. Tatum dishes to Brown. Smart passes to Brown. It's good from long range. Great to see Brown drop that perimeter jumper, showing off his terrific stroke from beyond the arc. Leonard with the ball, and it's Horford picking him up. Jackson from long range. Horford with the rebound. Horford's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Brown dishes to Smart. It's White on the wing. He's covered by Leonard, and White kicks to Tatum. And a miss there on the triple. Clippers leading by 21. Now Leonard. Outside Covington. Plenty of space. Al Horford with the rebound. Horford's got 11 rebounds in the game. To the middle. And Tatum the bucket on the assist from Smart. Tatum's got 47 points. Now those interior passes can be dangerous sometimes, but if the timing is good and you execute it there, you can get easy hoops. The offensive rebound. Leonard off target at the rim. Celtics trail by 19. It's White on the wing. Three pointers off the mark. And it's Jackson with the ball, bringing it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Here's Covington, kicks it to Jackson. Spins. Just five on the clock. Los Angeles needs to get off a shot here, and that one drops for him. Zubats has got four points now in the quarter. You know, Reggie Jackson has had a few years in the NBA where he's averaged six or more assists, so he can't make plays. Celtics passing it around. Tatum, that's for two. That one, no good. And it's the Clippers taking it the other way. Brown against Jackson. Leonard inside. And Boston with the rebound. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Here's Smart. That three off the mark. Clippers leading by 21. Outside Leonard. 
Zubats a screen on Brown. And it's Leonard missing. Celtic shooting at 46%, making some buckets. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for Los Angeles. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that. And, man, they, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And we watched one guy all night long, guys. And look at the stats. Just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Leonard. You can do a lot to change a game other than scoring. And it was his quick hands on the defensive end that put them in the driver's seat. Again, the miss by the Celtics. They have been really controlling this one. You never want to be complacent on the floor. That's when you lose momentum. Now here's Leonard. Hands it from downtown. Leonard's got 41. Uh, impressive job by the players, coaches, and don't discount the impact of these fans. Awesome to see their output tonight, trying to urge their team on, and that can always help. That, that home advantage of home fans getting you going, fully on display here. So the Clippers winning this one easily. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Kawhi, how satisfied are you with your team's performance tonight in this win? All right, David, great job. Thanks so much. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. So long and good night, everyone.